Hi everybody, welcome to Teach Me Tuesday. Um, I'm Kelly and you are at KO Crafts with Kelly. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the crossed stitch mix Tunisian stitch. And this was so fun to make. Look at those X's. Now the green ones don't show up as well as the dark ones against the, or the light against the dark. But isn't that cool? Yeah, I had so much fun. So if any of you have listened to me rattle on sometimes, I want to design a Tunisian random squared blanket. So this is actually going to be the first square in my block because I just love it. I'm going to use random stitches, random colors, random sizes. So this is going to be my first one. Now this is a repeat of five. Is that true? Hold on. Oh, let me see. No, it's a repeat of three once you get the foundation stitch done. A uh, repeat of three rows. So um, you're going to start with an even number of stitches. So just any amount you want, as long as it's an even amount. Um, to make that square, I used... Oh, sorry, guys. I used to knock you... Up. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. I'm losing my... I tried it. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hopefully that will work. Okay. So I used uh, Red Heart with Love. And this color is... If I can find it. Oh, I probably can't because I've made the wrap smaller to stick or to hold it with that. And then I used Red Heart. This one, which I believe is called Jade. Let me look. Yes, this one is jade, and this one the wrap fell off, so yeah, but it is also Red Heart with Love. So I use these two colors, so let's get started. So like I said, you are going to start with a foundation chain of even, and I will go over how to do that again, just so in case you need a refresher. Okay, all right, so hold on, let me fix this so it's up there better an angle. All right, so I'm going to do, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to do 14, okay? So you're going to chain your even number of chains, and then you're going to do one row of the basic Tunisian stitch. which is you're going to go in to the first chain from the hook and you're going to pull up a loop and that's it and you're going to do that all the way down so that when you're done you're going to actually have all your stitches still on your hook and you should have 14. so we're going to go all the way down do, 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 do. So I just got done getting drenched because we got a downpour with high winds and it started blowing stuff around in our yard. So I had to go out and save it. And I'm telling you what, I got soaked. It was like a hurricane. And by the time I was all done picking everything up, it was pretty much over. Yeah, that was my fun time tonight. So, okay. So we got all those on there. And then with your new, your second color, which is this. So you're gonna work two colors on here at the same time. Let me get this one started. Tucked it away when I got done. Ah, there we go. Let me unwrap it. I love these two colors together. They're just so cool. Okay, and I am not a big green person, so, but I love these together. So, to add this on, I am just going to hold a loop with my finger. I'm going to put it on the hook and I'm going to pull it through just one. Okay. Then for the rest of the row, and this is how you take off all your stitches. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through the one on. So basically two. So the one here and then the next one here. Okay. Are you seeing this? Sorry. And you're going to do that all the way down. So 
you're just going to go through two loops until you get to the end. Do, do, do. I need to learn how to put music in my video so you guys have something to listen to. Okay, so now it's going to look like this. Okay, now for your next row, you're going to stay with the same color you have. But you're going to do, and this is where you get your cross. So this is going to be the only new or different stitch. So as you can see, we've got this straight here, which you don't count. You never count this first bar because it belongs to this stitch. So that one is always just not even there. Okay. So we're going to skip our first bar. And when you're doing two colors, it makes it easy because it's multicolored. So you're going to skip your first bar. You're going to go into the second bar like this. You're going to yarn over and pull through. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, you're going to take your hook and you're going to come back into this bar. Like so. You're going to yarn over and pull it through. And that is where, let me get it to show, your X comes from. Now like I said the green doesn't show as well and you're going to do that all the way down. So you're going to skip this stitch, you're going to go into this bar, yarn over, pull up, and I kind of make it a little bit bigger so it's, I've got room to come back, yarn over, pull through, like so. Okay, And you're going to do that all the way down. So we're going to skip one, go in there, Come back, go in there, come up, skip one, go in, yarn over, come back, pick up that one, yarn over, and come up, okay? Skip, yarn through, come up, come back, yarn over, pull through, skip, Come into this one here, yarn over, come back and get this one, okay? And now you've got one bar left at the end, and you're just going to go through it and pick it up, okay? So there you can see we've made the X. It will show up, it will turn into more of an X as you work your way back and do the next row. So let's do that. So with the same color again. You're now going to just work all your stitches off. So the first one, we just yarn over and go through the first one. That's a, that's always when you work them off. Then we're going to yarn over, chin focus here, and pull through two. And you're going to do that all the way down. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all the way to the end. And this was so fun. Once I got it going and figured out the rows, it was so fun. Okay, so this is what you've got now. Okay. Now, with the same color again, and this is just doing your foundations, okay? So the cross stitch was row two. And then working everything off was row two. So you've got row two going there and row two coming back. Now we're going to do row three. With the same color, we're gonna just do a regular Tunisian stitch. So we're gonna go into every stitch, yarn over and pull up. Okay, so yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull up. And we're gonna do that all the way down. Okay. Now, if the color change confuses you right away, you could always just practice with one color so you don't have to try to figure out when to change colors. But one thing to understand is you're always going to change color at this end of your work as you're going back, um, but not every time because you have to, after your X's, you do the same color of a regular row. So now we're going to switch colors and... Do, do, do. Get me some more yarn. We're going to work all our stitches off. I'm going to get my thread. Oh, my fingers aren't working. Okay. 
So we're going to drop the green. We're going to use the darker green, the jade, and you're going to pull through and you're going to just leave enough tension here so that it doesn't, it's not too tight. Okay. And then you're just going to yarn over and pull through two all the way down. Oops, I always get out of shot. Sorry, guys. Two and two. Okay. So now, here you go again. We're going to do with the same, the same color. We're going to go back now and do our crosses. Okay. So we're going to always skip this one. So we're going to skip this one. We're going to work this one. Then we're going to come back and get this one. Okay. So it's starting to make a cross. Now don't worry because as you can see, mine looks more like a V right now. The cross comes in more when you've worked the rows above it. As you can see, the green now. Come on, focus. There we go. The green now has crossed. So if it looks like a V as you're going and working it, you're doing it right. It's okay. So we're going to skip this one. Go in this one. We're going to come back and you don't want to pull so tight because see you're going to have this row this here kind of make sure that you've got that gap that way you've got room to come back and get your other one and your stitches still look the same okay so we're going to skip pick up come back pick up and we're going to do that all the way down skip come back pick up up come back pick up go down come back pick up and then you've got your one left and you're just going to do one single Tunisian stitch okay now as you can see once you pull it out you can start to see your X's okay so your next row then with the same color, you're going to work the stitches off your hook. Okay. So we're going to go through the first one and then we're going to yarn over and go through two all the way to the end. Okay. Need some more yarn. Okay. All the way down. Now, because we're at the right side and not the left side where my yarn is, we're going to do, we're going to go back and pick up all the thread with the same color again. We're just going to do a basic Tunisian. So pick up all of them, hold them, all the way down. everybody getting ready for Halloween we have got all of our outside decorated I will post some pictures here in like a collage because it looks really cute me and the kids have so much fun decorating they did pumpkins and we decorated the outside it was so fun all right now okay so now we've got a solid row of Tunisian just like we did here so now we're going to switch colors because we're at the right end so we're going to drop the jade, we're going to pick up the light green, and we're going to just take our stitches off. Okay, so we're going to go under one, and then two all the way down. And we are ready to do another row of X's. And you just repeat that until you have it the size you want. Okay? Yes. So I'm going to do the X's. And then you will hopefully have enough to try this on your own. It's 
So we'll do the X's one more time. So we always skip the first one. We're going to skip this one. We're going to go in, pull it up, come to the back, pull it up, skip, go in, pull it up, go back, pick it up. So yeah, so we did pumpkins and we've got spider webs and spiders and a scarecrow that we made out of my old clothes and yeah, it's pretty cool. I love to decorate and it was so nice here. It was in the 70s all week, so it was perfect weather to decorate. I wish we could get that at Christmas time because it's freaking cold at Christmas to go outside and decorate. So sometimes I just don't want to do it, but it's so pretty to decorate for the holidays. I love decorating for Halloween and Christmas. All right, so there you go, guys. Another row of green, and then you're just going to work this off and go about your business. So I hope this made sense. I hope you do some trials and practice it and... Go to my website and post pictures of your success because I think it's cool looking. I think it's fun and it's really easy once you get doing it. So I hope you guys have a great day. Um, it is Tuesday, so we are just starting the week. So I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you later in the week. Stay safe, wear your masks, and God bless.